Hi, I'm Christy Vanover from Girls Can Grill. I've teamed up with BarbecueGuys.com to talk to you about grilled fish. Is your grilled fish a flop? Trust me, I've been there. I love grilling fish, especially in the summertime, but when I first started out, I had problems grilling fish. It would fall through the grates, it would fall apart, it would stick to the grill, all sorts of issues. So today, I'm gonna share seven tips to help you grill fish like a champ. First, let's talk about the fish that I have here today. If you think that fish can taste a little too fishy, you might want to try a white fish. This is halibut, but other white fishes like mahi-mahi, sea bass, cod, they're all very, very mild. And halibut and sea bass are extremely rich and buttery, which makes them my favorite. They are a little bit more expensive, but to me, they're worth it. If you're looking for fish that has high omega-3s, which are great for your heart, you're going to want to try salmon or tuna. I've got some salmon fillets right here. Here. You can usually find salmon in the grocery either cut like this or in those long fillets that you've seen. Finally, we're going to talk about grilling whole fish. This is a rainbow trout. I remember as a kid going up to my grandma's cabin and catching fresh rainbow trout straight from the river and throwing them on the grill. Rainbow trout has a nice little sweet nuttiness to it, but it also has a mild fishy flavor similar to salmon. Other whole fish that you can usually find at the grocery store include red snapper and brenzino. Let's get grilling. Tip number one, be sure to clean and oil your grates. The number one complaint that I hear from people is that their fish sticks to the grill. If you clean your grates, oil them, and then liberally oil your fish, you'll create a non-stick barrier. Tip number two, let the fish form a sear. If you try to flip the fish too soon, it will likely stick. But if you let it cook long enough, those grill marks will start to form, making it easier to release the fish from the grate. When you think it's time for the flip, gently slide your spatula under the fish and try to lift it. If there's some resistance, let it continue to cook. Tip number three, make sure you're using the right spatula. If you use a small spatula and try to flip a big piece of fish, it's just gonna break on you. If you use this big head fish spatula from Barbecue Guys, you'll be able to get under the whole filet and flip it in one try. Tip number four, if your filet came with skin, place it on the grill skin side down and then let it cook and let that skin get nice and crispy. You'll cook it longer on that side than the other side, but once that skin is crispy and that filet releases, give it a flip. It'll just take a couple more minutes for perfect fish. Tip number five, if you are still too nervous to flip your fish on the grill, try cooking it on a cedar plank. It is important that you soak this in water first so it doesn't burn, but then just place this on your grill, place your filet right on top, and just cook it, no flipping necessary. Tip number six, when grilling a whole fish, try using one of these nonstick fish baskets from Barbecue Guys. That way, if you stuff aromatics in here, as you flip your fish, you won't lose any of that flavor. Tip number seven, don't overcook your fish. The surefire way to know that your fish is done is to use an instant read meat thermometer. The USDA recommends an internal cooking temp of 145 degrees. If you don't have a thermometer, there's a couple other ways to tell your fish is ready. Once it starts to really flake apart, that means it's done. Or if you're cooking salmon, when you see it start to sweat that white protein called albumin, that's also a sign that it's ready. That's it. If you follow those seven tips, your next grilled fish is sure to be a hit. For more grilling inspiration, visit me at girlscangrill.com or be sure to check out barbecueguys.com.